So, so what is your question? What is it the burning issue that you're facing right now that you would like some clarification on? Mm, not really any issues, just kind of like where am I projected to go in the near future within maybe uh, it could be a month or a year, somewhere in the near future. Okay. Have you heard of this concept of as ye think ye create? Yep. Okay. And, uh, you know, your consciousness, you know, plays a major part in you creating, you know, your life, your destiny, and it's just recognizing where that lies. So. Right. So where I'm coming from is there's a lot going on in your hidden um, part of yourself, the unconscious, that's equally contributing to where you're going. And so um, I see your there's a fragmentation, there's a scattered energy about you. Now, I got to say, when we plug into aliens and ETs and all of that sexy, sedu seductive energy and the curiosity of all of that, our spirit goes there. Now, mm -hmm. are they plugging into us or are we plugging into them? And are we going there out of curiosity? It uh, goes both ways. I reached it's out to them else. and I went there, but I won't speak about that because it's not my story to tell. No, I can so. see your energy <laughs> there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I see there's a leak energetically in your auric field um, that do, you, you don't look like, when's your birthday? Um, October 7th. Okay. Um, you don't look like a real nervous guy, but there's this nervous energy. It's kind of like a static electricity. I don't know if you've been feeling it, but it's almost like a little bit too much caffeine or something like that. Yeah. It's I do true. like to have nicotine and caffeine a bit too much. Oh, okay. Um, and well, sometimes I, I overreach with that. <laughs> so I do see this energy here. So I'm trying to identify, is this an ET energy? Because the ET energy, it, for instance, it can trigger us gorging on chocolate or drinking too much coffee or focusing in on something and then being scattered. Because right, it's they're overlapping their energy with yours. And some people can't recognize that. So they externally manifest that into eating, or it could be uh, unhealthy habits. Maybe it could be drugs, sex, or anything that's you know, externalized. So the, all the work I've been doing for the last 22 years, I help people clear the foreign energies that aren't theirs. Okay. Because when we're more condensed and we're more refined and we're more in alignment with our core essence, that's why I wanted to know your birth name because I could see you're all over the place and you're not identifying with that birth signal. Let's call it a signal or a frequency. There's some diffract, de um, some um, what do you call not, not diffraction, um, but there's a separation. I don't know. Were you separated from your birth family, or was there some sort of division that was going on? Um, I mean, I my parents got divorced, but what I kind of feel it is like <clears throat> is what you're experiencing is me separating from that numerological. Uh, numbers because I do not see myself as just this person in this body. I see myself as something else. So I kind of look somewhere else um, or I, where I connect to something higher or somewhere non, non-existent in this plane of existence, if that makes sense. Yes, I understand <clears throat> completely. Um, and, and we're all being um, transmuted through what I call the great spiritual awakening um, trying to reach that fifth dimension of consciousness that we fell from into 3D. And your soul knows that. Your soul came here with um, like a pattern of remembrance. And so you're trying to get to that. Here's the problem with that though, okay. is we are a spiritual being having a human experience and we have to integrate into a human 3D life. The challenge right. becomes living in 3D, but understanding and being able to bridge that awareness, that consciousness of being present and being a super manifester, because I see that that's what you want to do. You, you're trying to manifest something really big. I feel like there's a sense of fame within you or connecting either with technology or some 
I don't know if it's an invention, but some sort of creation, something new. I see you want that, you know that, you feel that, you can taste it almost, but you won't be able to bring it in unless you learn how to be grounded and be present and release these energies of separation. And a lot of that is family energy. You can say what you want about not identifying with a frequency, but bottom line, we are. That's the essence yeah. of who we are. So I teach people and help people come into alignment of that frequency and then tap into the bigger frequency to, to that superpower, right? That that, right. that we, we know we are, but how do we get it and channel it and be it and, and really manifest it in 3D? That's the challenge, okay, that we're all facing. Um, so I see you're in your head a lot, which, um, and the caffeine and those kinds of things take you out even further. You're not in your body. And I'm sorry to say this to you as a, maybe feel a setback, but the power of manifesting is learning how to be present. If you are challenged being in the present moment, it's going to be more and more challenging for you to tr- really see manifest and integrate the, the 3D experience of being successful that you want and can taste. Can you relate to that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I have been um, kind of connecting with void energy, which is kind of comes from the self, but it connects to a different place. But it's all about, um, you know, reconnecting, living within the self. And um, I've been starting to do that a little bit more often, trying to get more grounded. Uh, I do a lot of mindfulness meditation right now. I'm not focusing on a frequency or a binaural beat of any sort. It's just uh, quiet and dark. So, Right. I have a a, a great tool on my website. Please go to my website, Amira Hall, A-M-I-R-A-H, and then Hall, H-A-L-L. So two H's, two L's. I have a free, I call it stress buster. Okay. It is a quantum energy guided journey call it visualization or meditation, it's only 15 minutes. But what it'll do is it'll start guiding you through a process of clearing your energy field. Okay, I call it an energy shower. It's specifically designed, I created it after my near death experience, when I too is, I'm always challenged with this type of thing. But we have to come into the present. The more grounded you are, you already know that, the more you can release these foreign energies and they're not all bad, they just don't match with your frequency. So here's the thing, imagine that you're a little iPhone and you're, you're this energy being that came into the earth plane, you're in your mother's womb and your mother's an android because her frequency is different but you're growing and developing in the womb and all you do is match that frequency of the mother, okay? They were born, we continue matching. That is how we learn. We absorb, we match, and that's how we, before we're verbal. So that's an unconscious part of our, um, you know, soul's DNA that we are vibration. So we match the frequencies of everybody around us until we get to puberty and we start rejecting and rebelling because we're trying to find ourselves, right? right? We're trying to get to that original. We know there's something up. We dye our hair blue. We wear mini skirt. We do all these things, right? right. We try to identify ourselves. <clears throat> you're saying you don't even want to use your name because you know you're something else. You know you're a star seed, don't you, Carl? Yeah. Okay. So, so this journey of rediscovering that which we are <laughs> is a vibration, which is frequency, which is energy. Moving out mother and father and family energy, pardon me, school, friends, programming from society, all those energies are not you as a star seed. And so the journey becomes you know, more and more refined as we can clear these foreign energies. And I'm not saying they're good or bad. I'm just saying- It's just connecting to your vibration. Right, because like an Android app doesn't work in an iPhone. So it may be really cool on an Android, right? But darn it anyway, they didn't make it for iPhone yet type of thing. Yeah, it's an own individual self, you know? 
That's right. And so that's the journey. Um, I develop some tools and teach and guide people on how to do that in the most expeditious way that I learned. So please, I, am, I encourage you to go to my site, get that, download that, and just start practicing it. You, if you practice every single day, just listen to it. Don't multitask, okay? Right, um, just focus don't on drive it. it. <laughs> don't do it driving. Because right. it, it is a directional, guided, intentional meditation to clear energy. And once you, once you know the techniques, you don't have to listen to it. But the listening to my voice helps keep you present. You see, okay. it's a bit of a trick for us. So you don't need it forever and ever. Amen. I mean, I can sit in a noisy airport and run my energy that I teach in, in the quantum tool, the stress buster. So, um, so that's what I recommend for you in terms of your question. So this is the primary thing for you to reset your energy. Because I see some really big things coming and it's almost like you driving up to a buffet and you're like, holy shit, where do I start? <laughs> right. Okay, okay, <laughs> just too much. And so we got to slow it down. We got to back off a little bit. We walk right. up to the buffet and start with one thing. You yeah. can put five things on your plate, but after that, they all lose focus, right? Mm -hmm. You can't tell cranberries from a sardine. <laughs> <laughs> that right, <laughs> right. Crazy, crazy metaphors but but that's what happens so i really really encourage you to you know keep it simple okay. um, simple is better um our understandings and connections interdimensionally is becoming more and more complex aren't you a libra yeah i believe so, so. you you really you really thrive on you know super intellectual analytical shit right and, right and and theory and curiosity your mind is so 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 busy and so that's a bit of a challenge for you to stay busy to stay yeah. you know, present and out of the intellect because the intellect is not where our answers are okay yeah. so um and i, I you know I might sound like I'm overly intellectual. I get all this stuff, but I too have to quiet my mind. I have an Aquarius moon. So I, you know, I can quickly jump around and I get bored with lazy thinkers. But the point of it is, is that doesn't get us to where we want to go. We have to get grounded. We have to get singular because that focus is where we're able to manifest because when our energy field builds, with our own uniqueness, when we focus on that one thing like a laser beam, it will manifest just like that. So there becomes less effort required to manifest. So on the flip side though, what are we manifesting right now? You're manifesting a wee bit of chaos. Yeah. You know, Have you had some friend or somebody that you were working with betray you or pull the rug out from under you? Um. Yeah, it was uh, so my my stepsister was a general manager of where I worked. And, uh, you know, it started out fine. But then, you know, a couple of years progressed by and uh, she ended up hiring a bunch of, you know, drug addicts and, and it's whatever, you know, uh, they can be drug addicts, but don't bring it into the workplace. And that caused conflict. And I was going to call the police on them for doing drugs at work, you know, weighing out drugs and all that stuff. And uh, that got into a conflict with her and I got my hours reduced and I just quit. So, right. Well, I see that energy from that situation is still lingering in your energy field. Right. All right. So that would be helpful. Just start working with the stress buster, start clearing that energies. You know, if you want to talk later, we can talk about the next step, For but, sure. but you know, this is a process that is free. It is, and I used to say to my clients in Dubai when I was living there, if I charged you the price of a Gucci purse for this, then you'd really appreciate its power, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But it is super powerful. So it's super simple, but don't dismiss that or, or judge that based on or what it's going to do. Be consistent. If you do it for every day for a week, I promise you, you're going to start seeing a difference immediately. Okay. And I'll definitely have to check that out. So. absolutely absolutely so i know we're over our time here was there something else that you wanted to ask um specific kind of kind of want to 
you know, dive into um, connection with entities. What kind of entities do you see? Um, Because I do practice a bunch of different things. um, And I have had very unique out of body experiences with these entities, um, even been attacked on different uh, things for clients, um, where they where they required or requested me to do like some protection of clearing different portals because portals have been open, um, stuff like that. So I do see two portals open or gateways or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I see you, I don't know if you feel like you're, do you like swords or lasers or something? Um, not really, but um, uh, my dad was a, freemason or else it was either my grandpa someone in the lineage and they always had this this sword of sorts because that's that's what they use in their rituals and stuff because i just see this sword i see you in the energetic realm and you're you're wielding this sword almost like an archangel michael i don't know if you right yeah i've connected with him a lot guy is kind of an asshole to me but he's very helpful (laughs) (laughs) well let me tell you who the asshole really is no i'm sorry (laughs) Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, we're the dumbasses, right? We're we're the dumbass. We're trying to remember the power and and who we are, but we're really dumbasses on the earth plane here. So let's let's be amused with that. And um, but yes, I do see the Archangel Michael energy is very, very strong. On the flip side, I also see some very dark energy that is almost um well it's, it's just, well, it's distracting your focus. Um, It's, it's like an energy leak. And what, what I'm hearing is that you get to decide, do you want to work with the masters of the light or the masters of the dark? Right. And I'm kind of stuck in this position where it's like, I work with both, you know? Okay. So working with them, I mean, I'm able to remove entities and remove beings. But years ago, I had the privilege of helping out a friend. He did a weekend uh, training over in um, Guernsville, uh, California. Okay. It was a very strange, strange weekend from the start to the end. But I, I knew him not deeply. But what I found out is that he was abducted. And he had all of these scars from implants being removed. And his yeah, work right. was particularly focused on helping people, you know, remove implants and remove, you know, attachments, et cetera, et cetera. And although I can and have done that work, I much prefer working on, you know, a more, a, a lighter vibe, let's just say, because his whole world and everything he did was really heavy and dark and extremely challenging and and it can be very draining it's very draining and when i came home it took me two weeks to recover because just the 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 dimension of energies that we were working at um and it's like you're on guard constantly right exactly it it, so you're at a point in your journey and your processing is decide not that you won't be able to work with removals or entities and i really suggest you do and consider more energy work for yourself because your energy field is not strong enough. Right. To it needs to be battle. Right. Okay. It needs to be in one place and not have drains and shit. But this battle is an intergalactic one. And, you know, let's rewind the tape here. Coming back to you first, you as a human on this plane having this experience. Yes, you've got the soul in wisdom and information but it's almost like you're living in another lifetime and dimension and you're not hundred percent present in the earth space. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah. Um, I, I asked for project a lot, a lot. Um, and I kind of feel, cause like I do client work here on this plane of existence, but it's also somewhat like client work on other different planes. And it's not like, you know, a transaction of sorts it's more of like it's not energy exchange it's just more of like just helping them and raising my energy of sorts kind of like getting a feel good kind of thing i understand that and i and i've been there myself but you are not you know archangel michael's warrior team yeah you came here for a human experience 
So look, I'm not the judge of all, and I don't know all of the complexities, what's going on. I can only tell you what you're showing me right now. The best to serve you right now in your journey, um, because I know that you've got a lot of soul memory and wisdom, but the biggest challenge we have is being in a human body. Right. Because we, we chose here. to came here. So. Yeah, that, exactly. You came here for this purpose and this. So you kind of have to separate a little bit from some of that, all that, you know, drama, that intergalactic drama for a minute and go, yeah, I'll be with you guys. You know, it's not that I've given up my, my agreement, my contract, whatever that is. But you, first and foremost, have an obligation to you because when your frequency is strong and resonates, you know, solid, you will instantly be able to think and do the work you need to do in another dimension. Right. With full awareness, but you'll have more power. And gotcha. I'm channeling this for you. I'm not even sure how that'll all work, but, you know, we don't need to know the how, right? Yeah. We need to know... Um, okay, what for right now? This will help with your health. Um, I don't know how well you're sleeping because it looks like you're you're up and down, up and down with sleep patterns. Um, Correct. You know, your your human body wants some TLC and wants you to pull back a little bit because that nervous energy that I was talking about earlier. Now I understand what it is. It is this alien and ET and foreign energies that you're not even aware of you're dabbling with all these energies but shit you know what dimensions are you opening up i mean exactly like sometimes i don't even know how i get to those dimensions like i've had this dream right. where i went on this world and there was like these beans uh you know like those those dogs with like those locks that hang to the ground it was like that and they were like spinning around and i just floated out of it and then out of nowhere i just opened my eyes and i'm awake and it's 8 a.m it's like what the hell Right. So. What the hell, right? So here, that you probably were in a. So as spiritual beings, energy beings, that's what we do. When the moment we go to sleep, we're out of here, man. I mean, right. who wants to be here any longer? Than <laughs> we have to be. But but that's that's the point. You came here to have this human experience to be conscious, and you're here to to um, master that which you've been created for, to create. Mm -hmm. What is it you're creating in this experience, right? I'm not here to judge any of that. You chose not to work with your family um, and all the druggies, you know, hanging yeah. out. Because that's, that's a really nasty vibration. But are you, is it any different with where you're working now with all these nasty energies? It's kind of not any different, really, because if you take right. if you take a physical body or a physical entity out of it, it all you are left with is energy, vibration and frequency. Exactly. So, so that's the point. We got to clean that up, which isn't a big deal. But the more refined you you get, the more the stronger your connection with Michael, I believe, will come with you and whatever lineage that will, you know, reveal to you to do some awesome, amazing, healing, powerful work and talk about, you know, significant work on the planet. And I, I do believe that's where you're headed, Kyle. Right, and that's kind of like my mission, spread peace, love and positivity in this Absolutely. In a way. And being able to stand up and defend and protect, however, that starts with our inner frequency. Right. That starts with, um, what you're vibrating at and if you're if you're a leaking sieve if you're you know like a spaghetti strainer with all these holes in it that 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 doesn't give you the power you know archangel michael is coming to teach you how to do that but you're so divided you know make a decision and um, i'm not saying working with the dark side and helping people that have been right. possessed or abducted or when that is, is a bad thing because there's people that are needed for that but i don't see that's your primary you know dream job here on the planet exactly and like i've i've gotten what you've just said where you got to reconnect with yourself and kind of identify where you want to go and i've worked with uh you know cthulhu different uh entities uh whether it's light or dark and they've all kind of given me 
that uh, kind of same message in a way. So, well, so you're getting it from all the different <clears throat> angles and, you know, that's validation that we're on the right track, right? right? So it's just that your Libra mind wants to take it all in. You know? Exactly. You don't want to stop. And that's the part that you're here to master or direct. And uh, you didn't tell me, how old are you, sweetie? I'm uh, 21 years old. Okay. So there's, this, is, this is a big part of your focus and your direction. Um, as I said, I do see some really big things, amazing things and opportunities coming, but you've got to get laser focus. Yeah, put the blinders on. A little bit. For you, that, I mean, that's even way more than I can handle, you know, but if you, you know, bring it in, <laughs> it'll, right. be, it'll be dramatic for you, but yeah. So yeah. that's a starting point, Kyle. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. And, um, you know, I really thank you for reaching out to me. It's been a yeah, real- Yeah, thank fun. you. And uh, one, one more thing. Um, would there be anything that you would want to say to an audience for them for personal development of how to reconnect within their vibrations, reconnect with who they are and really center down and focus on who they are and where they want to go in life. Because I feel a lot of people are misdirected or they have no sense of direction in life. Yeah, going to 50 different YouTube influencers and watching all these videos and stuff, that does not help, right? Right. <laughs> um, so, you know, honestly, I remember a teacher telling me years ago, pick one modality or one teacher and follow that. Um, give yourself some time to develop in that. Um, because jumping around is just adding to the problem. It's like throwing fire on a, you know, fuel on a fire. And so um, grounding, learning how to be aware of being aware. I'm just soon to release my new book called The Essential Guide to Spiritual Awakening. And it's with the editor right now. So come back to my website later and it'll be there. All right. But um, in my book, I talk about being aware of being aware and letting go of everything we are not. Now, as we talked about in our opening, we don't know what we're not because it's unconscious. It's like below the ice, the water and the ice. Right. It's the hidden self. Right. So we need some tools, one that are effective, two that are simple and I'm all about fast, okay? So from my near-death experience, I learned and started to practice these tools. They, I've been using them for over 22 years. I teach them to all my students. That is the basics with the stress buster that I talked about on my website, right? That's free for you. Right. My gift. So you start with that, start flushing because you're, you're, a lot, you, there's, you're so awake but you're, you're cluttered. You're, 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 you've got information from past lives cluttering. You've got ancestral DNA that needs to be flushed. You've got interstellar DNA that needs to be sorted. You've got other dark entities plugging into you going, oh, there is one that's awake. Let's pounce on <laughs> that one, you know? Right. Zoom. And, you know, they've got skills and abilities way beyond anything we can fathom right? So in these tools that I help you teach, you know, understand when we're grounded and present, we start clearing these foreign energies. Entities start with mom and dad um, um, because they are foreign entities. <laughs> they yeah. are, you know, beings, humans, <clears throat> they're beings having a, a, an experience. So when we clear that, all of our natural spiritual abilities start waking up. It's like watering a garden, you know, the bulbs you planted last year, all of a sudden start to sprout. So we're already programmed with this amazing, incredible spiritual aptitude. And so that's what we have to resurrect. And it can't come up until we give it the fuel or the nourishment. That's it. It's very simple. And you're probably going to develop tools that I could only imagine that I don't have. You know, my, when I started using these tools, my clairvoyance opened, my clairaudience opened. I, everybody I believe is all of those anyway, because we're all telepathic. We're all yeah, we're just going to unlock those things. It's just not clear, right? Like we're all empathic. We're not clear 
sentient. It's not clear feelings because we're bombarded with everybody else's crap that we pick up these vibes when we walk into a room or in a bar or in that crappy office you were working in, right? So you pick up those vibes and then you go home and you feel crappy and you're like, what happened? You know, and you know, it's not you, but you don't know how to separate it. That's what I teach people is the energetic tools to begin the journey of sort of renovating their energy field and releasing what you're not because all that stuff will come up to the surface. And, and so, you know, it's, it's exciting. It's really incredibly exciting. You know, my clients tell me all the time about their everyday miracles. Amira, this happened. I can't imagine this happened. And my mom let me travel by myself. And, um, you know, I can't even think of all the hundreds of stories, thousands of stories from the years of doing this work, but it's incredibly liberating, incredibly exciting and fulfilling, right? To know you're on the right track, to know right. that you got to let go of some loser friends to step in with like some amazing, powerful, inspiring people in your life. That's got to happen too. That is part of the journey. And, um, you know, it's, it's normal. It's kind of part and parcel with the process. It is unfolding as we go. It's not instantaneous. And your journey is going to be different than my journey. Right. But yeah, well, thank you for talking with me. I really got a better understanding of where I need to go and, um, and everything. So thank you for that. And uh, so I feel like you've helped so many viewers because I, um, I might upload this to YouTube if that's all right with you. Yeah, no, I would be, ple you know, very happy. <clears throat> and I can I link your Fiverr and your site and all that. Yeah, and I will also um, post it on my um, Instagram and Facebook. And I have to say this, it's 11.11 right now yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a divine moment thank you so much for reaching out to me it means a lot and i'll look forward to talking again yeah for sure we'll definitely have to do this again sometime okay be well all right you too thank you bye -bye. you're welcome bye, -bye.